So one of the most important things we need to do when we set up our inventor for the first time is where are we saving our work. So if I, for example, right here, this version of inventor is on my computer. So when I hit the save button, it's going to save to that computer. However, if you're using the web-based version, the app stream version, we need to tell it where we want to save it. And we want to save it to our Google Drive. So for example, let me open this again. So I'm going to hit the apps button, scroll down to app stream. This will take a minute to load. Oh, it loaded quickly. All right. And you'll notice this says AWS. AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. This is another one of those things that Amazon does. Um, but because what we're doing right now is we are connecting our laptop or our computer to another computer through Chrome. So if I save it, it's not going to save directly to my computer because I'm using that other computer that I'm connecting to. A little bit confusing, but just know that we need to set up our Google Drive first. So hopefully by now you have already created an engineering folder on your Google Drive because that's the one we're going to be saving to. If you haven't done that yet, uh, open up your Google Drive, create a new folder, and call it engineering or something useful. All right. So this is loading right now. Now it says it's going to take two minutes, three minutes or something. Usually it'll stop about halfway through and it'll say connection problem. You have to hit retry. And then once you hit retry, it pops up. Uh, at least that's what I've found a lot. All right, so here we go. It's connecting. Loading application settings. All right, so we can see up here in Chrome, this right here is going to be the computer I'm connecting to. And then I've got this little menu up here, these little buttons right here. This is where I'm going to set up my Google Drive and connect it to my Google Drive. So very important. Up here where it says My Files, this little folder button. Click on that button. And then yours, it should say Add Storage or something like that right here. Have a little button that says Add Storage or Add Drive. Click on that. Your only option is your uh, Google Drive. It'll say the at scpsschools.net. You'll click on that, log into your Google Drive, uh, hit OK or Allow or whatever it says, and then your Google Drive will pop up right here. So now if I click on this, I have My Drive and Shared Drive. You will be using My Drive. All right, so My Drive, click on that, and then you should see your whole Google Drive pop up there. So your engineering folder, all your Google Drive folders should pop up here. All right. One another important thing to note, I'm going to exit that, is this little menu right here is not part of Inventor. This is part of the AppStream AWS server to get onto Inventor. Um, since we're probably on a small computer screen, we can maximize this window to make it a little bit bigger. We can also hit this uh, Enter Full Screen Mode button up here, which will make it even a little bit bigger. So this is useful. To get out of full screen mode, go up to the top, you got a little X, or if you hit escape on the keyboard, and this is kind of nice because you can drag this around, switch windows, whatever you need to do. All right, so very important. First step, go to my files, add your Google Drive, make sure that shows up there.